On to the next topic of discussion. Giannis Antetokounmpo. This guy has really figured out how to not, to, 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 to I don't even know what to say. This man in the All-Star break said that he does not watch basketball. First, do you believe that he was joking? Do you believe that he was telling the truth? Or do you think there's somewhere in the middle? Because he wasn't laughing when he said it. And at times, from what I see, it is entirely possible that he doesn't really watch basketball because he makes some mistakes that if you watched a little bit of film and you saw tendencies. Well, you know what? If he doesn't, I love it because please don't watch any film on the Heat because we will just wall your ass, wall your ass out again like we've done multiple times. But what do you think of that, Nick? As a, if, as a consumer of the game, as a fan, if you're a teammate, because I would say this to you. If the surgeon who repaired your Achilles never saw a scan of your leg before the surgery and just decided to cut your leg open and say, oh, shit, he's got a torn Achilles. Let's see how we figure this out. You know, I haven't looked at a scan and well, I mean, MRI or whatever the hell it is. Would you really want that guy having doing surgery on your leg? Or if, God forbid, you're in, in going to court for a, a crime and your defense lawyer, who you've had a different one the entire time, and then all of a sudden this new one shows up and says, oh, yeah, I haven't read any briefs. I'm just going to wing it. Yeah, your freedom's on the line. I'm going to wing it. Rudy, Rudy, this is How do you feel? This is all bullshit, man. We know, we know Giannis watch film. Giannis is a student of the game. He loves basketball. He could tell tell us all this shit. And I think he was in one of his dad jokes, you know, little mood that he be going in when he tells these little corny jokes. I laugh. I find no funny. Maybe because I'm a dad now. I be knee slapper. That was funny. Um, but um, Giannis watches film, man. You watch first of all. You watch film as a team together. You break that down as a team together. Does he go home and watch extra film? Hell yeah, he does. Don't listen to Giannis. Giannis, even though he said honestly, I don't really watch the film. He was he was bullshitting this man. You could tell. Besides the Miami Heat and their wall, Giannis figures everybody out pretty good. Whether between, but whether whether it be with his athletic ability or just his knowledge of the game, Giannis figured things out. Giannis know what he's doing. Giannis is just messing with the media right now because he's just getting a chuckle off off of it. He's taking the heat off of Doc. Doc, they're like three and seven since Doc took over. Taking the heat off of Lillard. He's doing what a leader would do. You know what he's doing. Mamba mentality. Which <laughs> Giannis is in Mamba mentality. You know, he looks up to Kobe. He respects him. You know. So, I don't have a problem with Giannis. If he was my surgeon, I would trust that Giannis goes home and checks out every graph and know what to do with my Achilles. I trust him because I know Giannis is a hard-working guy. Everything he does is hard. He works hard. He goes hard, pause, and he makes sure he he, he, and he makes sure everything he dots his eyes, crosses his T's. So I believe all that he said was bullshit, man. I'm there's no way that Giannis doesn't go home. Or in the or in the facility watches film. There's there's no proof. There's nothing that you could show me that say he does. I, I tell you what, I believe every word he said. And um, I don't think it was a dad joke because he usually laughs when he does dad jokes. He didn't smirk. He didn't smile. This wasn't a... At the end, he was like, he, I like the competitiveness. Uh, well, he, likes, he says he likes to make it harder on himself. Like, yeah. I, I just... If, if he was joking, he missed. Yeah, no, he missed. He missed. Well. He missed badly. Well, he I'll, I enjoy his little things about books and stuff like that and then McDonald's the first time and... All those fun little things he talks about. I like Giannis. But that is a bad miss, and that's a bad look if that was a joke. I don't think he was joking because I, I do see massive holes. And you, when you when you look at certain things now, I'm like, did he watch film on this? Like, we've been doing the same thing for three straight games, and he still is not changing his what approach. See? What do you see? He turns the ball over a lot. Um, he that doesn't. He shouldn't have the ball like he doesn't. Well, he, he shouldn't. And again, if you've watched film, 
Now, look, do I? I don't think I don't think teams in general watch as much film during the regular season. It's hard. For, it's hard. Because the, the games are close together. Imagine back in the day when they played every other day. Now they have three days in between. But I don't think they get to watch that, that type of film. But when you said I don't watch basketball, that's what I was – not film, basketball. I don't watch basketball? Like you're a professional basketball player. And this is where I will make the, compar- the comparison to LeBron. LeBron's an encyclopedia on basketball. LeBron can remember every single play, which I find remarkable. Um, so you see I'm complimenting him. Like it's remarkable. Rudy loves LeBron. So I, I mean, but it's remarkable to see that he can remember that in a press conference and say, "This happened. This happened." Boom, boom. You're like, "Holy shit! That's exactly what happened." He remembers it like a like like a like he took a picture of it, and and so when you look at when I look at my superstars and I look at the guys that are the best players in the world. You don't become the best player or the best person in the world by not watching film, by not watching basketball. Like, I tell you right now, this goes back to some stuff with the All-Star game where, you know, if you ask some of these guys like Anthony Edwards, like if you ask him who XYZ is, he probably has no freaking idea because these guys today are soft and they're not students of basketball. They don't love basketball. They love, the, they love what comes with it. They love the money. They don't actually love playing basketball. Like you said last week. Why would you skip games? You don't know when this is going to end. No. And, you know, and for someone who's recently retired, like, you you don't know when that last ball will come. We know that Kobe, if he does not get hurt, probably would have played longer. Yeah. You know, so when you hear that stuff, like, they don't know the history of the game. When you're saying stuff like, I don't watch basketball, like, you're a pro. How do you not watch basketball? Really? That's crazy to me. That's been going on for a long time. Not, not, nah, real ball player. Like, like, to me, to me, that, me, that, that, that to, who? I didn't know the history of the game like that. Who? Who? Shaq. Oh. Shaq also spent 20 years getting speaking lessons, and he's come a long way. Like, I'm sure Shaq today knows way more than he knew when he was 20. Giannis is 30 plus, is like 30 years old now. He's been in the league for a decade. Yeah, I mean, it, and Shaq is a special mental case. I mean, <laughs> for what it's worth, I, I just think it's a very bad look. And if you're trying to sell that as a joke to your fans, your consumers, if I'm a if I'm a, a Milwaukee Bucks fan, what so you're like, you what? You shut the fuck up and come to the next. No, I'm gonna sit here and say, are you serious, bro? There's a re- like we're three and seven in the last ten. You just told me you don't watch film. We have a new coach because you fired the last one, and the new coach fucking sucks. Yes, Doc Rivers sucks. He does not fit the situation. It's early. It's early, yes. And there's things that he has actually fixed. But let's be real. They're three and seven. They lost to a G League team. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did. They lost to Memphis. Memphis's Memphis's entire team was G League players that night. Yeah, because they got brought up to play that game. They were G League players. Replacement. the replacements on the replacements weren't in the On the movie, yeah, they won the playoff game. Like, <laughs> they went to the, play the playoffs. <laughs> so, they lost the G League team. Now, I will say that we're going to jump into it right now with uh, the Doc Rivers, J.J. Reddick, Austin Rivers, Pat Beverly deal. But, bro, like, you're the star of the team, and you got you lost to a G League team. So, maybe, I don't like it. Maybe it's and that go- the situation. I don't I- it- I want my so, to be light about the situation at hand because uh, or I want him to choke the motherfuckers out. Either one, pick one. Find <laughs> which one you want to be. So what do you?